And it's only first down. To work is George to Carter. Flying saucer in front of him. Robert Smith. First down and more. Bounced off. I really like Robert London Smith Fletcher. You know. Jeff George gives to Robert Smith, who broke one tackle and stumbled for about three yards. This. And Hard will have a first down. What a good call that is. Yeah, that's what they wanted to be able to do. George lofts it to Moss, who makes the catch and skips inbounds. Tight end set up now, Robert Smith deep, and Smith gets the carry. Smith flashes inside the 15 to the Ram 11, 12 26. yard line. Flag on the play as George fires out of the end zone. I think they took too much time. Have Leroy Hoard back here again, too. All right. Rams only have three defensive linemen in there. And they run the draw play to Hoard. And he gets down to about the 12. It's the same thing they did before. They they want to play that four wide receivers with to try a 31 yard field goal and he is right down the middle as he usually is. Warner the quarterback fires up the middle of passes caught to Isaac he did it. and he's gone. Amazing. Dick Vermeil told us yesterday that was going to be the first play of the game. Yep. Two receivers in the slot here. They're both going to run a post. And whoever the safety comes off on, they throw it to the other guy. You see the post there, and then the post there. Both of them going to the inside. The guy that they came off on and left free was Isaac Bruce. And the first <laughs> one, Isaac Bruce, but he still threw it to Bruce. To watch the post coming from both sides. If we can stop it now, you can see that they're both open here. Here's Isaac Bruce. That's the one that he decides to go to. And I'll tell you, speed kill. Because once Isaac Bruce got a step behind him, and, and Kurt Warner knew it, and Isaac Bruce went up and he gave the ball to someone in the stands. Did leave or retire, Dave wants that would get the job. Here comes a blitz, and there's a pass caught. And knocked loose and gotten back by Chris Carter. Throw the ball. And Carter caught it, fumbled it, and got it back. Here comes the blitz. Picked up by one, but not both of them. Billy Jenkins on the delayed blitz. Follow another guy in the same hole. George back to throw it. Screen pass. Robert Smith. Knocked out of bounds. This Seven crowd is a part late. of him. George out of the shotgun fires deep overshoots Randy Moss who had a step Rams one here's Warner Bruce again you're know, hearing everything about Randy Moss and Chris Carter Warner on the outside complete, right on the sideline. Good throw to Torrey Holt. See that they're keeping their safeties deep now so that no one gets in behind them anymore. Reverse to Hakeem. Put together a staff and a team that is tops. Trying to run the screen pass, and they do to Marshall Falk. Falk to the 20. Falk. At the 10, he's going to score. It's so well. You see, they start with a play fake, and then Marshall Falk comes back to the other side, a screen pass, and watch how quickly, after he catches that ball, he just explodes. And, you know, I mean, there's missed tackles, but Marshall... Well, the Vikings need to find an answer pretty quickly. And he's going to find out where the trouble's coming from, and he's going to beat it. Here comes the blitz again. George is down. They got him on the ropes. Yep, and that blitz again was London Fletcher. He's at and, down. And this is where the Vikings cannot afford a turnover. George. Moss. Got a first down. Take a first down. 
Two tight ends set up for Minnesota. Smith into the secondary gets good yardage from the backside. Horn moves the stack enough to get the first down. As Same only he can do. The ball carrier. Behind Klein Saucer. That's backwards. Three wide receivers as George retreats and is sacked by Carter around the corner. Stringer cut him. Pass to Carter. And Carter gets the first down. It was kind of ugly. Now here, here's a blitzing situation. A lot of silos in this part of the country. Here's the rush on George, and down he goes. Charlie Clemens, an extra linebacker, comes in and gets there in a hurry. That again is is speed. Clemens just blew by him. Yeah, but the Rams do. I mean, they have speed in every area. Offense, defense, special teams. Right here, they have speed. Hakeem. There it is. Look out. Look out. Oh. There was one tackle, a flag on the play. One man hit him. Of fun, aren't they? You better pick in a hurry. Here's Warner. Fault first. Warner going deep. Intercepted by Hitchcock. And he's down because of contact, but the Vikings have the ball. The elephant thought he wanted some Ram colors, but he spit them back. Elephants are a lot like Clydesdales. They're George, so that he couldn't get to his big play guys. Smith gets the Viking first down. Smith, the ball Stopped by Todd Light. Maybe he's had some of that knocked into him. Maybe so. He drops the throw. Moss. He was pushed out of bounds. Yeah, that's the catch. Dexter McLean is saying that he pushed off and. And he probably did, but there's so much of that in the NFL now. Once you get downfield, watch Rand, Randy Moss here, and there's going to be a point right here where he pushed. You see that right hand there? Yep. He pushed. He got it right on Dexter McLean's hip and just gave him a little push, then went up and got the ball. You see the push there? And that push gives him a separation, and then he has the jump. I wonder who else is going to make guy that catch. Cannot, one guy no. cannot cover that. No. You can't be much better than McLean was. Ooh, this one was almost a disaster. And that's Dexter McLean. He saw that. Yeah. One. Rams. They tried to run a draw play, and the Rams had it diagnosed perfectly, led by Wistrom to the left. And here's George, and here comes the blitz again, and it's for Jake Reed. Reed's got it. Jake Reed to the Ram 20. That's for Reed all the way. The handoff is to Smith, and he's going nowhere. Ray Agnew. Great respect for Ray Agnew. Second and ten. George fakes. Throw. Touchdown, Carter. Well, we talked about offensive weapons. We have them here today. The Rams. They don't know that speed. Oh, they're seeing it today, yeah. Smith, known for a loss. Rand Wistrom. Guys can play well, too. George. Pass is intercepted by Dexter McLean. Marshall Falk fumbles. And the Vikings get it back. The ball bounced away from Falk. And into the hands of Robert Griffin. He and Marshall Falk went to college together at San Diego State. Marshall Falk didn't get hit. He just never got the That's handle right. on it. And that ball comes out there. Robert Griffin sees it. And it's about five yards away from the fumble point. Uh, that I've seen anyone play there. That's play the, the Here comes the blitz again. And the, they give this to Robert Smith. And Smith breaks tackles, gets about nine yards. Vikings have three wide receivers. Jake Reed's in there. And to Jake Reed, first down, Minnesota. Let's go down to DJ Johnson. Harry's already. Here's George. Moss. 
to the 15, 10, Moss dragged down at the Rams 6. The Rams were probably, well not probably, heck the fastest guy in the field is this guy right yeah, here. Yes, sir. And you just watch him here. And last year, remember, they used to always throw him outside stuff and they say that he would never go inside. It looks like the Rams are still playing him that way that he won't go inside. And that's the way that they can break them. If they're going to take away your outside stuff and your deep stuff, you run that slant or you're in. That's a, that's a pretty powerful group coming at you. Moss in motion. There's Leroy Horn. Touchdown. Yep, and it was that powerful group. Leroy Horn, his power, got right in behind the rookie fullback, Jim Kleinsaucer. in motion back to throw his runner underneath it comes to Bruce to Holt I beg your pardon Tory Holt knocked out of bounds been wide open all the time just like that four wide receivers Warner has time near a first down to Hakeem past the marker it is a first down there are a lot of line coaches that couldn't do that. There's not enough room. Well, Mike, Mike Tice was a tight end. Yep. Warner fires down to Isaac Bruce. And the clock continues to run. A minute, 44 seconds. The Vikings recover. Different looking formation this time for the Rams. And here is the screen pass coming to fall. And it is well played this time by Jimmy Hitchcock. That's a great play by Hitchcock. Three on this side, two in the other. The rush takes down Kurt Warner. John Randall was there first again. Well, John Randall is starting to come on in this second quarter. And he Vikings lead 17-14. But John, the way the Rams started out, it looked like uh, they were going to blow everybody right out of the stadium. Well, it was kind of a story of two yeah. quarters. I mean, the Rams came out and they were just going up and down the field. All their speed was showing, and then the Vikings got under control. And then in the second quarter, they won the second quarter and took it back. I think at some point here, the the Rams are going to have to get to Marshall Falk because if you look, he's only carried the ball one time and. And they haven't had the ball a lot, you know, especially in that second quarter. And that's what the Vikings did. They, they took the ball. They had control. And I think the Rams, you know, to get back into this thing, they got all these explosive guys. And Marshall Falk is one of the most explosive. I think they have to get him more involved. Well, I think they realized that the Rams were darn near one-dimensional in passing most of the time. Holt at the six. Got a good wedge in front of him. And he gets around the corner, and he could be off. He could be off and gone, and he is Tony Horn. That speed is something else. And we talked about it, Pat, that they have it in every area. They have it on offense. They have it on defense. They have it on the, on the punt return. And then we see Tony Horn here in a kickoff return. He starts to the middle. His wedge goes to the left. Gets a good block by his wedge right there. That's the block that sprung him. And then his speed took over right up the sideline. And punt coverage to injury. George outside the balls. He's thrown for a loss. Back to the 20. Here's Jeff George back to throw it and fires to Carter who made the stretch grab and now they're saying he might be out of bounds. He was in bounds. Yeah, he is, he in, is bounds. in bounds. The only he thing is, is you have to watch his hands and I think they said that he bobbled the ball. Maybe he his did. His feet were in bounds and, and, and what the official was saying that he bobbled the ball. So I mean if it was a bobble it was a little bobble. Yeah. It wasn't a big bobble. It's not reviewable due to the bobble on the sideline. It'll be third down. Bob is a fun word to say, though. Yes, it is. George for Jake Reed incomplete. Let's go down to Rod Pitts. Hakeem. To the 45, a flag on the play. There's going to be a face mask there. But they, they are fun to watch, though. This they are so team. quick. Everything is quick. And Face mask, five yards 
on the kicking team, number 57, during the return of record for a five-yard penalty. First down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That was the thing that Dick Vermeil talked about that yeah. they wanted to get back to, that they got... You know, sometimes you do, and they hadn't gotten into the game because they hadn't had any running yet. Three wide receivers this time. Flag on the play. Falk straight ahead. They're so quick. Defense number 92. Five yards. Results in a first Dwayne. Now, Keem was in the backfield, and here is Falk. Another close to at least another first down tripped up by McDaniel look at that short Dwayne Rudd wrapped up Marshall Falk for a loss I, uh, film and, and in practice and and he didn't go for it one iota uh, third down pass is caught by the tight end Roman Williams and Williams gets down to the 15. To go was a wide receiver. Here's Warner. Gets it upfield to Ricky Pro, who crosses and gets a first down, crosses the five. It looked like a real league. Everything's so quick. And I think, you know, the part, Too much of, time. part of the things that he did, one of the things he does so well is get rid of the ball quickly. And I think that was developed in a Reno League. Delay. On the offense. And with people Five close yards. to him. That's the other Feels thing. Like we, we were, you'd come back too many times for your sophomore year. They uh, make you give up the game, wouldn't they? Warner found Bruce, who tried to stretch out and get it in the end zone, but catch a pass. That's Ryan Tucker, the extra tight end. It goes to Falk, and Falk hammers in the end zone touchdown. Years, huh? Yeah, that's great. That's Two January 30th. Excuse me. Mo Williams. Fumble, and the Rams have it. Second and eight. That's Marshall Falk. Flag on the play. Falk is knocked down by Wong, but there's a flag on the play. And the flag is back here, and it's going to be holding us probably against Roland Williams. Roland got a long life. And here's Warner back to throw. Has plenty of time and has a man wide open. That's Torrey Holt, who spins up for a first down. And the pitch is back to Falk. I don't think that he made it. I think Robert Griffith stopped him short. I don't think 42 yards out is Wilkins. Not good. No good. Didn't look like he hit it quite flush. The Rams play nickel, showing blitz. Now they back out of it. Now they come around the corner. George gets away from it. Pass is incomplete. Good coverage. Intended for Jake Reed. Remember earlier, he almost had an interception on a quick pass. Azahir Hakeem. Hakeem wrapped up. Check your local listing. Kurt Warner, 13 out of 17. Attempt number 18 is complete default. Midfield and across. Look for when he played tag as a kid, he was never it. Warner, the rush gets him. Wide receiver this time as Warner has no backs with him, but gets it upfield. That's Falk again, and Falk is down to the 20, and a flag on the play. The same play that, that Dallas ran against him to go empty backfield. Fried was on Marshall Falk, and he can't can't cover him. It's taking the place of Marshall Falk. He's a deep back. Warner fakes, throws it to the other side to Torrey Holt. Him earlier. Warner back. They have the first down. Hakeem tried to cut it back outside and almost lost the first, but he got it. I, tell you, I still call him champ. Holt complete to Robert Holcomb. There's a name we haven't heard much of. Holcomb. That field. 
and concentrate and complete when you have stuff like that in front of you. Touchdown. Jeff Robinson from Warner. They can't stop him. 35-17. A team playoff record of 325 yards. And he is pumped up. They can make things happen with the ball in their hand. Jeff George fumbles the snap. And the Rams have it. The Rams have it. Falk moves in motion. No backs. Warner outside to Hakeem. Out of bounds at the 13 by Robert Griffith. I'm standing out there waving in the back. What a, it's a cartoon. Warner. Sidearms one down to Tory Holt. He gets to the five. Warner has a hot hand now. He's, he's 12. What a story Kurt Warner's been. Quarterback draw. Down to the back to one. One could see Kurt Warner coming before the season. Warner. He reported, checked in, that's Ryan Tucker, number 50, who made the touchdown catch. Yeah, we were at practice on Friday, and they were throwing it to Ryan Tucker. This could very well be his last game. Could be. Started off with the Vikings, finished with the Vikings. Screen pass to Smith, dragged down from behind by London Fletcher. Read it perfectly. As he's 5'7", no, at least. He's 5'4". Sandy? Flag on the play. And the shotgun. Incomplete. Somebody hit his arm just as he let it go. Feel like he's been in the middle most of the day. Here's Warner pitching back to Marshall Falk. And Falk goes for 11. Goes just to show you how wrong a lot of people can be. The pass is complete to Torrey Holt. Be pretty good. At that time, the quarterback was Trent Green. This guy is pretty good. Catch by Hakeem. Difficult catch. Iowa. There's Warner. Pass complete. Hakeem. Okay, that's where that kill Kurt helped. If you haven't read it, read it. That's great. Inside the five is Ernie Conwell, and I think somebody got him by the face mask. And that's going to be like the tenth guy that caught a pass because we just had a graphic show at nine, and now Ernie Conwell comes in, and he will be double fifty. Touchdown pass. That's Roland Williams. It's like shooting ducks in a barrel. And like I said, whatever that thing is that you get in, Kurt Warner is in it. I didn't think that that schedule thing, uh, I thought that was a bunch of baloney, and I thought not having any experience in the playoffs was a bunch of baloney. Out in tomorrow, but uh, we've got to take a long look at them because we don't know a lot about them. Well, I'll tell you one thing. On, on offense, they give you a lot of sets with a lot of different guys handling the ball. I did that game. It wasn't the most exciting. Well, when you don't have any touchdowns <laughs> yeah. and, and three field goals, I guarantee you it won't be that kind of game next Sunday. And make another commitment. Here's George. Escapes one. Throws a cross. Caught. Hard in the backfield. George retreats. Fires. Touchdown. Jake Reed. Although the Rams played very well in all areas. Hard. <laughs> a touch. Now you ask if this is going to be a shootout. Here's an onside kick. <laughs> Vikings got it. The Vikings have the ball. The crowd's starting to get back in the in the game yeah. again. They started to get into a celebration mode. Three pass. Smith. Checks it out of bounds after a pickup of about six. Pass is complete to Smith. Stumbles around. 
might have gotten the first down. Great fly. Yeah. Timmerman there, Miller, right tackle, big Orlando pace. Uh, you know, we know with Moss. And we know it with Alice. Flag on the play, the engineers, Marty Ibeck. Pre-game show is produced by Scott Atkinson, directed by Bob Levy. Randy Moss. And the hands go up. That's a touch. That was a free play. What happened is the Rams jumped off sides. So the board. <laughs> they go straight ahead. We got it. They say we got it. I don't know who we is, but the Rams. I think we are the Rams, and I think Minnesota probably touched it before it went that 10 yards. 90 points. Tackle for a loss is Marshall Falk. Inside trap handoff. Flag on the play. Falk. Was the ball carrier didn't go anywhere, and I would, I would think if it's against the Rams, I would, I would, I would think that uh, Minnesota would turn it down and make. No flag. That's ball lost yardage. Yeah, now I'm sure everyone's yeah, saying, uh, saying, why didn't the Minnesota defense play like this the whole game and too hard? And now he's a wise man. Yeah. Coach of the year. George. And a man open Matthew Hatchet and overthrew him. What a coach he's been for a long time, huh? Here's Jeff George. Pass is caught by Jake Reed. George's pass complete. Well, they brought Devin Bush. They were going for it. They were all day. Randy Moss most of the time. Second and ten. The flag came out. Those two corners, uh, both of them have, have, have done a good job. I don't know if that's a good, not against Randy Moss. Like conduct on the bench of the offense, 15 yards, still second down. George. That's Chris Carter. Laddles it out, brought it to Jake Reed. Third and five. Jeff George out of the gun, fires upfield, incomplete. Juggled by Carlester Crumpler. That was the first offensive play the Rams had. 77 yards, touchdown. Stuck to it. That guy's not playing anymore. Number 57, five yards. Still fourth down. And start getting ready for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fourth and inches. They got the inches. Chris Carter to midfield. He got point of the game. George spikes it. Stops the clock at 126. They still have two, two timeouts left. A flag on the play. 89 yards passing. Jeff George is going to pass for more yards than Kurt Warner. Screen pass goes to Robert Smith. Keep him in. Keep him in. Smith, keep him in. you can hear him yelling, keep him in, keep him in, keep him in bounds. Well, he's been all pro, he's been pro ball, he's been all those other things, but hadn't won a Super Bowl ring. Leroy Hoard. And here come the flags. That's going to be a face mask. Man. Personal foul. In the twi twisting the face mask on the defense number 22. <laughs> Big play. First and 10, Minnesota. George dumps it out to Robert Smith, who heads for the sideline, runs it out of bounds, stops the clock. They go to the Super Bowl. So you got to get to a little celebrating and right back to work. George. Carter. Oh, you got that. Oh, you got that right. Touchdown, Randy Moss. There's a touchdown. Now that again, that stops the clock. We're successful, and if they made the touchdown, Anderson. And the Rams down it. Isaac Bruce. 
Yep, the Rams were 8 0 in regular season here, and then playoffs are 1 0. So the Rams have been perfect in this stadium this year. Dick Vermeil named Coach of the Year as well. He should have been.